Looking for me to let's go Take me on this journey home I don't wanna wait no All right, y'all. So many of you jumped down into my episode 10 breakdown video, my episode 11 preview, even our community post for the spoilers after episode 10 and have questions about Mo. Said, Erica, can you talk about Mo? So let's talk about Mo's killer plans for Coop. Okay, let's jump right into it. Episode 10 gave us this clip from Mo. So I wanted to say I was sorry. Thank you. Cool. Which sent you guys into a tailspin. Everyone now is worried about Coop. People are apologizing and like, oh, Coop was right this entire time. I actually have been cracking up going through the comment section of all of this stuff and seeing all of y'all's messages about Mo and Coop. I still stand by what I said in my episode 10 breakdown. I'm more worried about Coop forgiving Mo or getting to a good place with Mo before she actually fixes her relationship with Spencer. Um, Even though I do know that Mo is definitely a threat. Like she is definitely going to be a problem. And before I jump into my thoughts and theories around it, I want to share some of the comments that I've seen. And y'all, I just selected a few, but trust me, it's like hundreds of y'all talking about this and I only could put a few. So don't worry if I don't include you. I definitely have seen your comment. I'm trying to reply to everybody's comments, but I definitely wanted to spotlight some of the few that speak to what a lot of other people are saying as well. Nia Henderson said, I'm more worried about what Mo was up to. After last night's episode, she gained Scoop's trust, and now she's about to rock the boat. Ciao, she really is. Oliver Garrett said, Always knew Mo couldn't be trusted. She was just waiting for Coop to finally be on her side. Made in Memphis 1984 said, It turns out Coop was right about Mo the entire time. Shorty has been plotting on her ever since the last episode of season two when she drove the van and when they first went on tour only difference is she's on her own spencer will stay out of the way this time i agree with you there i think that spencer is not going to get involved or i mean he's going to hear about it i guess because i want to say he, he's not going to be the wiser but this is definitely going to be something that Coop has to deal with on her own but i think it's going to be something that she chooses to deal with on her own because this is like she said that she didn't want to be saved and she's about to get put in a situation where she needs to be saved so she's either going to have to um check her thought process behind that and ask for help and actually ask to be saved or um focus on saving herself but i'm going to talk about that a little bit more in the, the rest of this video I'm so sorry. I might mispronounce your name, but I reply your comments all the time. So, hey, and it's not malicious. Um, Correct me in how to say it, please, if I say it wrong. But Drip Tristan said, man, I knew Mo wasn't trustworthy. Like, you don't go from wanting revenge for the death of your brother to wanting peace. Like, hell no. I knew she wasn't right, and I was right. Introverted Sagittarius said, Mo has been after Coop and she now has a vendetta against her. Coop was right for not letting her guard down, but now she has. Mo is on to her. I think the situation is how Spencer and Coop are going to rekindle their friendship. We're going to talk about that. Skipper Jan says, bruh, why is almost no one talking about how Coop about to die? <laughs> that, when I saw that, that cracked me up. Oh my gosh, we're definitely, I'm definitely going to touch on that in this video. Lillian Abuku said, an apology for all y'all that doubted Coop will do. I knew Mo was up to something. And then to reply to that, Naomi Beauty Mind said, I never trusted Mo, but I do feel like Coop could have approached the situation differently. She was too vocal about her mistrust for Mo. She should have moved more silently. And Shay's World replied to naomi beauty mine and said i agree with you on that she should have kept it to herself coop run her mouth too much and that's kind of where i want to jump off with my part of the conversation i never said that mo wasn't 
shifty shady up to something wasn't trying to get revenge my biggest issue with coop trying to be the nancy drew of the hood is that she is horrible at it so she kept trying to find something where there was nothing to find because at the time mo was purposefully hiding her agenda she was purposefully coming off very genuine she was very meticulous and calculated in how the hood was pre was perceiving her how everyone saw her so you're going to go look for something that's not there yet and now you're spinning your wheels you're on this hamster wheel sis wasting your time and mine because i gotta watch you do this dumb stuff that was the biggest thing for me i never said that mo was not up to something i never said that mo wasn't wrong what i said was she can't do nothing about it until mo actually makes a move because before the person actually does some things to be guilty about they're not guilty they haven't done anything yet so Coop trying to preemptively like suss her out and like, well, what are you going to do? Yes, yeah, she's shady, but you can't put people in jail for like, oh, 10, two years from now, you're going to try to kill somebody. So let me go ahead and lock you up right now. Or let me punch you in the face real quick because I just feel like in three months, you're going to have something, you're going to have some little shady thing for me. That's not how this works. She actually has to do something so that it could be something that you can hold her accountable to something that you could call the police on something that you could retaliate worth like coop was trying to retaliate against this girl before she even did anything and that was my biggest thing about her it's like you're trying to fight a battle that's not even started yet sis and then you're trying to fight it and you have no idea where to go where to start how to begin because she has not made her first move like now and unfortunately, she coops set herself up for this because she did work herself in this big tizzy. She had this big idea of, I'm never going to forgive Mo. And I spent all this time trying to figure out what I'm going to do. And now she has been lulled into this space where she thinks like, oh, maybe I was wrong. But that I feel like that was only because she exerted so much energy from the beginning and couldn't find anything. So literally, she fell right into Mo's plan and Mo's trap. But had she mind her business and kept her head on the swivel, she would not be in the position that she's in right now. So no, I'm not giving out no apologies because I still believe that Coop should have minded her business, kept her head on the swivel, focused on school and her music versus trying to run around the hood and figure out what Mo got planned when Mo is literally, all of Mo's intentions in, the, in that moment was looking like a great person. So you're looking for her to look like a shitty person, but all she's giving you is everything that makes her look like a good person. You wasting your time, sis. Now, if any of y'all fell for Mo's little um, sideshow act and I want to save everybody and give back to the hood and all that kind of stuff, you know, that's something that y'all got to work out with yourselves. But I always knew that she had something else going on. My thing is we just had to wait for the shoe to drop so we could figure out what it was and then we could react. Now, speaking to the question about why isn't anyone talking about, you know, Coop about to die. I do not believe that Coop is about to die at all. <laughs> I think that Mo, and this for me is the most ridiculous part about it. Ma'am, Mo, you are a grown woman. What are you doing plotting revenge on a 17 year old high school dropout rapping wannabe? Girl, if you don't go get a man in a hobby, I can't. That's the biggest thing that's really blowing me from Mo. Like seeing her in this episode say, oh, she finally let her guard down. I was like, girl, you have nothing else to do with yourself nothing but anyway back to the idea of Coop is about to die the only reason why i feel like Coop is not about to die or i don't believe that mo actually has plans to kill Coop, is because mo unlike tyrone actually has a lot to lose because she's playing the like both sides and she's on the fence she does have a good side she does have a bad side she has a very legitimate um career as a lawyer she has positioned herself within the community to be a notable person of positive change and things like that so she cannot actually go down the road of trying to kill a little 17 year old kid without sacrificing her entire life now that's not going to stop her from getting her revenge i think that she's definitely about to play with coop like she's about to to try to make coop's life a living hell but I don't think it's going to go as far as her getting Coop killed or her killing Coop herself. Amanda said, I never trusted Mo. However, I do not believe that Coop is going to die. But I do believe Mo will set her up for murder and Coop is heading to jail. Child, I know it's something like one 
setting her up was one of the things that I think that Coop could possibly experience by way of Mo and whatever this revenge is. I, all I know is that I definitely think that Mo is going to try to ruin her life. She's definitely not going to try to kill her. But if y'all really want to believe that, then go on ahead. But I'm trying to give y'all less things to worry about. We got other things on our mind. We got other things to focus on. And we got to conserve our energy. I don't think that you spend another ton of time worrying about Coop going to die. It's going to serve you well. But, you know, if that's what you really want to do, do your thing. So I can agree with Monda. I could definitely see Mo trying to set her up for something that she did not do. Um, putting Coop in the wrong place at the wrong time. And Coop tends to end up at the wrong place in the wrong time because she can't never mind her business and sit still. So she's going to wind up being somewhere that she shouldn't be. And it's going to be right in line with what Mo might have planned. I definitely can see Mo trying to ruin her music career and compromise her in the industry. And that will play into the storyline of her helping patients because one of the things that i am happy about and i gotta i gotta talk to dr spears i think i need to give him a call because me and me and coop this season we just ain't, ain't vibing and i have so like little grace for her but i now know from at least episode 10 that mo is only focused on coop so everyone else is safe which was one of my biggest things like i thought that when she came back originally and she was seeking revenge that she was going to try to get revenge by way of hurting everybody around coop or everybody that coop cares about but she's helping patients she's showing up for the community like she's doing certain things and i think that specifically for like coop's music and like if she tries to go down the road of ruining Coop's music career, that plays into her help and patience because she will want to elevate other people so that Coop feels worse. Like Coop can see patients doing well while her career is struggling or while she's stifled or anything like that. That would make the pain worse of actually what she's going through. And I can see, you know, a little narcissistic evil Mo having that be something that's on the plan. I also think that Mo clocked Coop from the very beginning like when she got there and she was riding around and watching them and following um Coop around and really trying to get a, a scope of the scene I think that she really clocked Coop and whether Coop wants to believe it or not in this season she's a very community-based family-based friends-based um person she she thrives in that play in that way which is why I'm still like yo you really are just gonna roll with this whole anti-spencer thing girl you need him but whatever um I could also see Mo trying to ruin her life by alienate her, alienating her from the community. So I think we might get a little run of something, not necessarily of snitching, because you know we had that in the season one where um, everyone stopped liking Coop for a while or was going around the hood that she was a snitch. But basically, Mo planning something about Coop with in reference to you know her reputation or her perception and getting more people on her side and kind of like making people shun Coop or to keep their distance from Coop, something like that. I definitely think we're going to see most plans for Coop play out in a very strategic and sometimes nuanced way like I, I don't think that this is going to be a sweet swift revenge at all I think that Mo is going to have a little fun she's going to drag things out she's going to become a big annoyance to Coop and yes, I do think that ultimately the Mo and Coop situation will be something that helps push Coop back in the direction of Spencer. And I think that she's going to come back to Spencer, not necessarily for him to save her, but for him to understand and to support her, especially if she gets into a situation where she feels like the world is against her, the community is against her, and she has no one. I think that Coop will always know deep down that Spencer will always be there. And when we think about it, Coop and Spencer's relationship is where it's at right now because of Coop. Spencer never Spencer said what he had to say, but he never wanted to stop being friends with her. He tried to continue to be friends with her or to rekindle things and at every turn Coop just really dismissed him. So the ball has always still been in Coop's court when it comes to her relationship with Spencer. And it might take this revenge scheme play out with Mo to actually make that you know swing in a different direction but now it is your turn i spent way too much time talking about this i did not think that this video was going to be this long y'all so i'm sorry but those are my thoughts around mo's killer plan for coop she's safe y'all for the most part but she's just about to struggle a little bit and i'm not i'm not mad at coop struggling i think that she need a little struggle because she's been tripping this season and y'all know i've been saying that on pretty much every video every time that we see her but now it's your turn drop down to the comment section and tell me what are your thoughts theories 
uh, guesses, predictions, whatever. Tell me what you think is going on in Mo's mind. What do you think that she has planned for Coop? Do you still think that Coop going to die? Let me know all of that and more down in the comment section below. If you're new here, I'm Erica Vane, and I post new All-American videos every day, sometimes twice a day, and you should really join the tribe by hitting subscribe. I promise you're going to love it here. We have the best All-American community on the internet. Our comment section is lit. We are totally connected. Come on in and have a seat. You should also go ahead and like this video because you made it to the end and I know that you liked it. And if you're feeling real froggy, you want to support your good sis Erica Van, go ahead and share it on your social media. Drop that link into your Twitter and tag me at EricaVane.com or screenshot and put it on your Instagram stories. Again, tagging me at EricaVane.com so that I can repost you. I would appreciate any and all love you got from me on other social media platforms as we continue to grow this amazing community. You can catch up on all of my All-American videos right here in my All About All-American playlist. And if you're looking for a new show to watch, you can go ahead and check out my two suggestions I got for you right here. We're covering it all. All the best television is right here on Erica Vane TV. I'm going to see y'all in my next amazing All-American video. Bye.